traveling around the nation on the taxpayer's dime. In his two years as San Antonio ISD superintendent, records show that Jaime Aquino has spent more than $20,000 going to places like Puerto Rico, San Diego, and New York City. Our, our case that investigates team uncovered this through hundreds of pages of records and receipts. Parents and taxpayers tell our Daniela Barra that they have questions about how those trips are benefiting students. It's empty. But for the Gabrielson family, Lamar Elementary is filled with memories. It was everything. It was a central part of our lives. The staff was extremely caring. Neil Gabrielson's daughters now go to a different school. Lamar Elementary, one of 15 shut down by San Antonio ISD at the end of the last school year as part of its right-sizing plan. We understand that, that the district is facing severe budget issues and uh, and frankly, some management issues as well. In a video shared last November, Superintendent Jaime Aquino says the decision allows the district to take a closer look at its own resources. This inequity extended far beyond financial matters. KSAT took a close look at Aquino's financial matters. Records show he visited districts in Denver and Cleveland months before the announcement to do research on right sizing. Those are just two of the 22 taxpayer funded trips Aquino has taken since becoming superintendent in the fall of 2022. Receipts for things like airfare, hotels and meals totaled just under $22,500. He's missed 62 and a half days attending those trips and conferences. How critical is it really for him to go to all of these conferences? In that same time frame, records show Northside ISD's superintendent has spent around $7,000 on travel. Judson ISD superintendent, who took over the district in May of 2023, spent just over $476. It does seem to me that there's a, a disregard for, for the budget challenges and, and this, just the sensitivity to everything that's happened. It also doesn't sit well with Melissa Vasquez, who lives near Lamar Elementary. It's a load of crap. It's just not right. James Quintero, a policy director for the Texas Public Policy Foundation, is frustrated by the spending. You know, as the old saying goes, a fish rots from the head down. And when you look at public school spending, it's very clear that top administrators are leading the way when it comes to abusive taxpayer practices. Scores from the 2024 STAR test to show SAISD students are well below the state average for math, science, and reading. I would really question why the superintendent is gallivanting all around the nation when he's got problems right in his own backyard. Aquino attended an education summit in Puerto Rico in 2022 for two days. In 2023, he flew from a retreat for Latino administrators and superintendents in Chicago to a two-day conference in New York City. Months later, he traveled to San Diego for the Council of the Great City School's 67th Fall Conference. Among the speakers at that conference, politician Liz Cheney, actor John Leguizamo, and sports journalist Jamel Hill. I would want to know what he's learned from it and if he's learned anything from it. We want that answer, too. It's why we've made requests to sit down with Aquino five times. The district didn't make him available to us. Well, and that's unfortunately uh, what I've come to expect. Aquino sent us a lengthy statement instead defending the travel. He says some of it was paid for by organizations that invited him to be a panelist, judge or speaker. Aquino says he's learned a few things from his trips he's been able to bring back to the district, like lessons on right-sizing, supporting socio-emotional needs of students, and supporting multilingual learners. He also lists a few lessons tied to leadership. It's the overall idea that that much money is being spent when we're in these circumstances and without the accountability of knowing what the tangible benefit was for attendance to these conferences and these other trips. For KSAT Investigates, I'm Daniela Ibarra.